Here's how you can add pop-ups like these on CapCut on your Mac and PC. Now, the very quick way to do it is to just go under text, text templates, under social media. We have a bunch of templates we can literally just drag and drop to our video and it's actually pretty good. If we just resize it, drag it so it's not covering our face and that's pretty much it. Now, let's say we want something else. Let's say we don't have the template we want. Say none of these are on brand for us. Let's do it a different way by finding a logo, let's say the YouTube logo, and removing the background and then adding it to our project with the animation. Let's try that. So let's say we want this YouTube logo, but we don't want the background. So the way to remove the background is really simple. If we copy image, and let's go to this website called remove.bg, Let's paste it, so Command or Control V. It'll remove the background. However, it also removed this triangle part, like this is transparent, and we want it to be white. So if we go under Erase slash Restore and go Restore and color in that triangle, we can restore that aspect of the logo. Now we can download it and go back to CapCut Go under import, import, there we go, import. Now we can drag and drop this to our timeline. And let's try to sync it with my finger. And then we can change the scale. Let's make it smaller. Let's say we want it here. Cool. And let's say we want to do the same thing with the Instagram logo. Let's just search up Instagram. Let's say this one. I think this one, it already has the background removed. So we can just add it to downloads. And let's go import. I was right. If you wanted to remove the background, again, you can just do the remove.bg method. Now resize it like that cool and retime it so it's in alignment with my finger and the only other thing I usually add is a sound effect and a transition actually we'll do a transition first so let's say we don't want it to suddenly appear we want a transition so if we go under animation and under in we can do a few things for example we can do slide right there we go and let's say we want to pop up for this one so this one immediately pops into frame and this one slides now let's find the sound effect that would go along well with these icons so if we go under audio sound effect let's go with the pop one to start so if I search up pop actually pop up this one, let's say this one. Let's drag and drop it and try to align where the audio is with when the pop-up actually starts. Let's reduce this volume. Cool, and let's say we want to whoosh for this slide in one. So again, just search up whoosh. Let's say, let's say this one, drag and drop it. Try to time it so it's in alignment again. Reduce the volume. It's a bit early. And let's see that. And let's say we want a cross dissolve out. So if we select it, go animation, out, fade out. And this one, fade out as well. There we go. Let's watch it from the start and let's see how it looks. My name is Junius and I help people make and strategize educational content. If you're looking for more CapCut tutorials like this, feel free to check out this playlist here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.